I'm Lyle Schwabauer, and I'm a sculptor. Back in the early 80s, I was making a living as a carpenter, and I knew I had this artistic ability and really questioned whether to pursue it or what to do, and, and heard about this speaker who was gonna be at one of the local churches. He was from out of town, and for some reason, I had a desire to go hear this speaker. And so we went that night, and he's speaking, and all of a sudden, he just stops, scans the audience, and he points at me, and he said, would you stand up? And I stood up and he just said, God just wants you to know that he wants you to use the creative ability that he's put in your hands. And then he just went right back on to what he was saying. And it made me stop and think, I really need to take this seriously. Lyle Schwabauer is a sculptor at Mountain Sage Gallery in Helena, Montana. He is a native Montana grew up in eastern Montana, and has a long career in art, beginning in the 1980s. Lyle initially concentrated his work on wildlife sculpture, and that art was sought out by collectors in Montana, the surrounding states, venues in multiple countries, the Winter Olympics in Canada, and his art was presented to President George W. Bush by the governor of Montana. Today, he concentrates on Native American art. He says, I am an artist that likes to sculpt from my heart because my heart will take me places my mind won't let me go. Well, this is where I sculpt. I've got a lot of pieces that are still in the clay. I like people to come and, and watch and see what I do. And I like interacting with the people. Still in clay means the art has not been cast in its final form. The Mountain Sage Gallery in Helena, Montana is filled with pieces that are still in clay, waiting for a customer to either select it or have further input before the finishing process. I'm a perfectionist in what I do. It's going to be something that's going to be permanent. It's going to last longer than I, I will. What matters most to Lyle is not how fast he can produce the sculpture, but how accurately it captures the true detail of what he is depicting. I'm never quite sure when the piece is, is completely done. A lot of times I like to set it aside for um, at least a couple weeks because I want to get the character of the person. I want the character of the person to show through when I, when I do people. Lyle's personal character and honesty are reflected in his work. He takes the time to research the topic. and most importantly, maintains the integrity of the culture that is reflected in his work. And then uh, this one here, when I was over on the Northern Cheyenne, they asked me if I'd do the, the dog soldier, so that's the Northern Cheyenne dog soldier. This one here represents the crow. The crow would put pine pitch in their hair and spike it up in front. This one here represents the flathead, which is Salie's Kootenai and Ponderay on the flathead. And then this piece here represents the Blackfeet. The Blackfeet wore the, the straight up headdress. The satisfaction is to see a completed piece of completed work. And um, the most exciting part for me is when I see it go from the clay 
to a permanent piece when it's cast into the bronze. This piece here, I want to do a, a Native American mother pulling the travoy with the, the teepee folded up and, and, and with the, the children on it. Originally, I did this piece like this, and then I had a Northern Cheyenne lady come in and she says, you know you have to build a willow basket to go over those kids. Now, our people travel long distances and the kids would fall asleep and fall off. And so we would make a willow basket to go over the top of the, the kids. So if they fell asleep, they were still there and then they could put branches or whatever over the top to shade them from the sun. Lyle works by commissions and his own inspiration. He is working on a tribute to Native American veterans who have defended this country. The person that inspired me to do this, he's the oldest Native American World War II vet from, from the Fort Peck Reservation. And I says, Dave, your family told me that you grew up in the old Indian boarding schools. Would you tell me about it? And he says, well, he said, they put me and my two sisters in in Poplar when I was six. And then they shipped us down to South Dakota and my oldest sister died there of pneumonia. He said, I ran away when I was 12, but they treated it like a military academy. He said, that prepared me for the military. I joined the military when I was 16, served in the last part of World War II, served in Korea and then two terms in Vietnam. And he goes, but the government owes me nothing. And I go, Dave, I've never seen a tribute to the Native American soldier. I promise you I'll do one. And so that's why I did half in the World War II uniform and half in the traditional Native dress. And here I've got the military steel helmet and then camouflage it to form the other half of the face. And then, and that's Dave's face on there when he was 28. Uh, the piece is gonna be on a, on a base. This is the way it's gonna look when it's all done. He'll be standing on top of the base that we just had and It'll have represent each of the, the different Indian reservations for Montana. And I just felt like I needed to do a tribute to the, to the Native American people. And people always ask, where's it gonna go? What's gonna happen? I says, you know, I had to follow my heart on this and just do what I felt like I was supposed to do. Something to, to give the Native Americans recognition recognition that is well deserved. And Lyle is proudly working on a tribute to the Native American soldier, dedicating his talent to a cause and sculpture that deserves a home and sponsorship. Lyle Schwabauer, sculptor, born and raised in Montana, internationally respected and known for creating art from his heart. His work and that of over a dozen Montana artists can be found at the Mountain Sage Gallery in downtown Helena, Montana. Stop by and see Lyle's creations that are ready to turn from clay to bronze. Imagine how his art can fit into your environment and remember Art is forever, and its legacy lasts well into time, especially when it comes from the heart.